Hi there, Max with Apri.io here. Today I'm going to show you how to secure a REST API that you create in API Express. So let's get started. Now, I already have a project here, uh, so I'm going to use that. And the first thing, I'm going to click New Service. Now, I'm going to select the second option because I want to use the Visual Editor and click Create. All right. So. Let me quickly show you the service that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use this service right here, which is the uh, open weather map. Uh, and then we're going to use this one. So we're going to enter a location and then get the weather information for the location. Let's go back. And first, we're going to name our service the service in API Express. And we're going to call this weather. And because it requires a location that will then be passed to the REST API, to the weather REST API, we're going to, let's call this city. Right. Now I'm going to take the REST component and just drag and drop it. Right. And now we're going to need to enter the URL. So what I have here, I have the URL right here. And notice that this is the where we're going to enter the location. So let's copy the URL and set it right here. Now I need to delete New York and make this to be a placeholder. And let's call this location. Now notice that the location is automatically inserted here. I just need to map to city, right? And city is coming from, from here. Uh, next, I want to test the service. So I'm going to go to response and click generate and enter city and then run. And you can see we get the response. So I'm going to use this now as my template response. And I'm going to click input response, all right? And I'm basically done with the service. So I can always very easily test the service. So I'm just going to click the test button. All right. Let's enter um, uh, Boston, for example. All right. And we can see we get the result. Now, so this all finally works. Now, one thing is that if you know, if you give uh, this URL to someone, right, they can easily invoke it from anywhere. So, for example, I can copy this URL and just open a new browser window and do this, and I get the result, right? So, in most cases, you probably want to secure this because, right, I mean, weather is probably not uh, very sensitive data, but if you're, you know, loading, uh, connecting to your enterprise, then, you know, uh, you want to secure this. Right, so that only the signed-in users into your app can uh, invoke this API. And of course, for example, if you're connecting, again, to an you know, internal database uh, within your organization or a web service, so you want to be able to secure that. So that's um, pretty easy to do. So let's go back, right, and let's close, let's exit. And I'm going to head to Settings. And then right here, I'm going to say, Secure. Now, I already have a security provider, but I'm going to show you how to create a new one. So let's click here. And so we're in resources security. And let's call this uh, weather access. And now you have a couple of options here. So uh, there is the app radio database, which we're going to use. And then you can also use LDAP, right? So that's also an option. So because I'm using the app radio database, now I need to select the actual database. I'm going to Select this one. You can test, right, and save. All right. Now let's actually go to the database, and this is the database. So the user information is coming from the users collection, all right? And you can see right here I have three users, so I can basically sign in with any uh, any of the users here. All right. So let's go back to API Express. And let's go, actually, we need to change it here. Here we go. And it, ah, we actually have to, let me just quickly reload this. Here we go. All right. And let's go to back to API. And then we can just click test here. And you can see now there is a session token, right? Now, if I try running this, say if I enter Boston, uh, then I'm going to get an error. Correct, and and same thing here. If I refresh, right, so now I cannot invoke the service. 
But now I can do a login. Uh, let's use Anna. All right. So notice the session token is inserted. I click test, and then I am now able to invoke the service. All right. So as you can see, um, securing a service is very simple. It's just a matter of uh, creating a security provider with either the app or your database or your own LDAP, and then setting it to use in this API Express uh, project. All right. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, so definitely try this if you need to secure your API. And thank you for watching.